Welcome back to Lily's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. And I'm your host, Sam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to your Saturday Sip and Share here at Livy's Lovely, your inspirational craft channel. And this week, we are going to take a look at a set of cards that I made using the One Sheet Wonder Challenge that I found on Roxy First channel. I'm going to drop a link below to... Um, her channel in addition to the actual link to the website where this is actually from so um, I think Roxy may give a short tutorial on how she put together a couple of the video a uh, couple of the cards but I'm not going to do that I'm simply going to share the cards and the information that I have on how to put them together for yourself so as you can see the um, before we get started let me just give a little shout out to my friend Lady Ella which is Josh's one of his best and longest friends he's had since pre-k she made me this beautiful bracelet set for Valentine's Day so I just want to say thank you Ella for the lovely gift and and just stay creative and crafting because you are a sweet girl and if I had a little girl I would want her to grow up to be just like you all right so moving on for the one sheet wonder challenge it uses one six by six double-sided pattern paper and four neutral cards cardstock circles and bases now when it says neutral you that means black white um, craft or what have you but neutral non-patterned and the six by six paper you obviously it says double-sided but that does not mean that you can't cut down some um, cardstock some pattern cardstock using two different patterns and alternate between the two which is what I actually had to do because I didn't have any double-sided um, pattern paper cardstock paper that I, that the print was small enough to be used in here so I just used um, a let's see I think it was the uh, I want to say Heidi Swap yeah it was Heidi Swap's um, there we go. What's it? This is uh, favorite things. This is what I use, and I actually use two different card um, patterns. So you end up with this size uh, six by six, and you cut it in this different this way. Now, if you're using two different uh, sizes or different patterns, I am so tongue tied. Anyways, um, then you'll cut two different sets and alternate how you want them because my paper punch died recently I was not able to um, use a punch so I ended up having to use my silhouette cameo and instead of using just a bunch of circles I I wanted a little bit little bit of a variation so I used a scalloped circle and you'll see it in the cards and so I used the Bible journaling stamp set so that all of the cards that I made would have um, a faith-based theme to them. And that's by American Craft. And I think I picked this up from Tuesday morning, probably last year sometime. Now, this is one of the things that I want to point out. I'm not sure how people use the pigment inks. I'm not versed on that. However, that is what I ended up having to use for this particular stamp set because the ink that I the vert what is it what kind of ink is it that I usually use um, the ink that I typically use for most of my stamping which is the memento it would not really um, it, it was like the the stamp wouldn't grip it it wouldn't it was blotchy so I ended up like using the Hampton art pigment ink that I purchased from Hobby Lobby so I guess that's a tip if you have stamps that you love and you want to use them and they don't really hold the ink the regular um, I don't even, uh, this is fade resistant ink it doesn't really say what kind of ink it is acid free if it doesn't really use this well I mean if it doesn't grab this well you could always try using the memento ink but I will tell you it does get in between the grooves 
of um, the stamps because it's the, the stamp pad, the ink pad is really juicy. So without further ado, let's just go on ahead into the card set. Okay, so let me move that on out the way. And oh, by the way, this is a sip and share. So let me share with you what I'm sipping, which is a, believe it or not, it's a, just a regular chai tea that I picked up from Ingalls, which is a grocery store. Um, I'm sure every city and state has a, a chain of grocery stores. This is one of their brands. You know, um, I actually had to use two bags. So in order for me to get the robust flavor and uh, um, the strength that I would normally get from one tea bag using the Tazo tea, I had to use two tea bags. I'm not mad about it. And of course, it's in my unicorn mug because why? It's that kind of day. I, it's a magical type of day. If you believe in magic, there you have it. Okay, so my first card says Pray Without Ceasing. And using the scallop punch. Now, I, I will say that I did a little bit different. I did um, use my cuddle bug to emboss some um, paper, some pattern paper. I just wanted it a little different. I I did not feel as though the one sheet wonder challenge, as it were, that the finished cards um, using the plain white background really was reflective of my paper crafting aesthetic, if that makes any sense. So I, I wanted to up it a little bit. So I used, I wanted some more texture. So I, I just, I cheated a little bit and didn't stay the course, but that's what crafting is about. It's about taking something that's already in existence, adding your own flair to it and making it your own. Not necessarily stealing because the, uh, the idea is out there for us to use. Hence, that's why she has it on her website for free. And by the way, that is vlvsketches.blogspot.com. And I'll drop a link below to the website as well as to Roxy Fur's original um, video. This one says, Hope Anchors the Soul. And then it looks like there's two arrows here. I'm using, I, I didn't cut out anything different. Just using the elements that we got from the... Um, the um, One Sheet Wonder Challenge. And then here is God is Love. And also I used some enamel dots just to give it a little bit of a pop. Um, some visual interest. Not that the texture wasn't enough, but you know, um, sometimes less is more. In this case, more was more. And then last but not least, the Lord is my shepherd, in which he is. He he protects me, he guides me, and he watches over me. And so I made this set with no one in particular in mind, but perhaps I'll use this in one of my my upcoming giveaway. I'm getting ready to hit 200 subscribers. And so if you, oh, and the last thing I wanted to show you is that these, this is the stamp set that I got from scrapbooking.com that I got for free. If you have not watched that video, um, Right up above, you'll see a little box that'll take you to this, and it'll have a link to that to the video that, or it'll to have a link to the um, the free uh, promotion for it. You just have to pay for the shipping, which I think was two twenty nine or two fourteen or something like that. Nevertheless, okay, so that's that. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully, this video has inspired you to, to print. The One Sheet Wonder Challenge and use up some of your current papers or scraps to, because six by six, that's pretty much somebody's scrap, right? Um, use up your scraps and create some cards that you can send out or gift to someone. And if you enjoyed this video, again, if you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share me on your social medias to help grow this lovely crafting community. And if you are not one of my current subscribers, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You have nothing to lose. It is free. It is absolutely free. You have nothing to lose and a whole lot of creativity and inspiration to gain. How about that? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we have new videos. With all that being said, you know my song. Stay encouraged, stay blessed, creative, and crafty.
If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the Crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Lives, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.